What is up, killers? Kev here, and today back with a brand new episode of five new console mods to hit the Bethesda on our website this week. This is going to be episode 453 within my series. But without further ado, guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Miraz Sword coming in at 13.8 megabytes of a download. This is going to be adding a beautiful one handed weapon into the world of Skyrim. Personally, this is a little bit of a tricky one to cover. Not for the simple fact of the description or anything else, due to the fact of this technically shouldn't be classed as a one hander due to the size of the blade within the base game. There's a few other different ones that Lagri has covered or done this week that just the blades on them have been really really long hefty and beefy blades to be one hand there's no complaints from me i'm just saying that they are sort of class technically class as two handers it's really nice to see that we are having some really long bladed one handers within the game to get this particular weapon what we need to do is head over to the forge go into the dwarven category and you can pretty much craft this one up for practically nothing you can be upgraded on the grindstone so get this sword and have a little look this is really really nice indeed i love this the models message and textures are absolutely on point and as well guys it's just insane for a one-handed weapon and that length blade is out of this world nla natural lighting aesthetica coming in at 2.6 megabytes of a download comes complete with a lightweight visual overhaul to skyrim natural lighting from everything that is listed within the description which is pretty lengthy and gives a nice overhaul and a nice round look of what this mod actually does improves the lighting shadows and contrast within the game more dramatic weather and atmosphere clearer reflection and the blue water smoother natural grass within the tundra smoother skin to do the other different things within the base game more trees within cities improves the ambience within the theatrical lighting and and audio and as well other small visual tweaks have been added for the PlayStation 4 once again I'm going to be keeping this one to my PlayStation 4 just to enhance the game a little bit more this is a pretty interesting mod not only for the facts that I've just listed but again the download size all that are scooched aside it plays very nice with all the other different visual things I have within my game will be keeping this one and I encourage everyone to grab this if you do have a PlayStation 4 Val coming in at 9.9 .9 megabytes of a download. Val is a character from D&D &D game that the mod author is a part of. This is a beautiful yet stunning follower to be added to the game. It's very unique and very interesting to see sort of a character like this into the Skyrim. Now you're probably thinking, Kev, why are you so baffled about this particular flower? Normally when you download one of these standalone mods, a lot of people use other different assets, mainly from the base game, and usually when you jump in with your graphic overhauls and your, all your other different things that you're running, you usually get a grey face or a slightly odd textured face. For this particular one, I do believe this mod author has used their own standard sort of procedure of mods over this one. It's going to be a standalone. This is going to be a beautiful follower indeed the the pictures did not lie whatsoever i'm really baffled and stunned of this particular follower definitely an awesome follower to have i do believe she's going to be a vampire within the game her main focus of fighting skill is going to be conjuration with those vampiric powers also as well she does wield a one-handed blade um i personally think she's very strong within the game too as you can tell on screen now she does get mobbed a few times but she can definitely hold her own that is for sure I really do enjoy this follower, it is absolutely great, visually 100% stunning, 100% on point, and in combat, definitely a viable person to have with you on your adventure. Glorious Dummies coming in at 6.7 megabytes of a download. This is going to be a port from the NexusMods.com. This is just a simple retexture replacement for the training dummies around the world. You can find these within Solitude, Whiterun, and many other different locations too. I'm not too sure why these are here. We don't actually use these within the game. I'm not too sure. I'm not even sure if they even pop up within a quest. I cannot remember. But it's, I suppose, a nice little change for anyone who's doing sort of screenshots or maybe sort of walking around solitude and looking at the guards train i'm not too sure but if that's kind of your thing and you want a little bit more immersion to do with the training dummies this one's definitely got you covered 
constellations coming in at 909.1 kilobytes of a download this is going to be a port from the nexus mods again on this particular one too the mod author got a little bit tired of the original drawings and the lack of inspiration so they thought they'd make their own and add it into the game they're not going to be perfect by any means but they are going to be more fitting within sort of the categories or the perk tree choice of the drawing too hopefully you guys do appreciate them i for one definitely do this does change all of the perk tree sort of icons as well it does change everything to do with the vampire and the werewolf tree and all of the other di different dlc worked absolutely finesse i personally really do like this i think they're very unique some of them are really cool some of them are a little bit lackluster but again that is with disclosed within the description so guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. This has been the episode of 453 within my series. Guys, if you made it this far and you haven't already, why not consider clicking that little subscribe button? Right next as well, there is going to be a bell icon. If you click that, you will get a notification in some way, shape or form every single time I post a video like this to the channel. But until the next one, guys, kill it, kill it and kill it, kill it out.